What's up guys? This is MacUser686 here. Today we're going to be talking about how you can run Battlefield 4 on your Mac. Yes, I did say Mac. Of course, this is going to require a little bit of setup and it's not exactly going to be running Battlefield 4 on your Mac, but it is going to act in a very similar manner and it's not even going to be noticeable the way we're setting it up. What we're actually going to be doing here is setting up Battlefield 4 to run on a Beast desktop computer that you have um, lying around and then connecting to it over the network through your wireless router or wired router on your Macintosh laptop. And the way this is going to work uh, through a piece of software called Splashtop which is a hardware accelerated remote desktop client. Now I know what you're probably thinking, ugh, remote desktop, it's going to be laggy, it's going to be uh, slow, but no, Splashtop's actually one of the few remote desktop clients that is really, really fast and hardware accelerated. And you can really tell when you launch it up, they've put a lot of effort into optimizing the software, getting it to work with your hardware. Um, they've worked with the developers at NVIDIA and customized it to the NVIDIA API. So it's really, really smooth and you get a very high frame rate. It's probably the best uh, frame rate out of any of the uh, options out there. So go ahead and download the Splashtop personal version and this is the client that's going to be running on your Mac using to connect to your, your desktop. We're also going to need another piece of software called Synergy. Now what Synergy is, it's basically a keyboard and mouse sharing software so you can share your keyboard and mouse from your Mac to your desktop. And the reason we're going to be using this is because Lots of VNC clients, remote desktop clients like Splashtop, they offer what's called absolute uh, mouse positioning. Um, but we need what's called relative mouse positioning. The reason this is important is because when the uh, game captures your mouse on the screen, you, you need to be able to move it relative to the crosshair. Now if you're just using the remote desktop client, the mouse is going to be moving absolute relative to, to where your cursor is on Mac. And that's going to be a potential problem down the road and I'll, I'll show you, uh, illustrate that later on. But for now just, just take it that we're going to need uh, Synergy here. So setting up Synergy, you're going to want to set up the MacBook Pro as the server. Now it's the server because it's actually serving your keyboard and mouse from the Mac to the desktop. So the desktop is going to be the client in this case. We're going to configure the desktop to connect to the IP address here of the MacBook Pro. And um, the MacBook Pro, uh, when we look here at the configure screen, um, we, we can actually see the two screens that you would need to set up. Uh, number two is going to be the Mac screen here and number one is going to be the desktop screen. So you have to configure these so the computer knows which orientation the screens are going to be set up in relative to each other. So which, which side of the screen you move the cursor off is which side it goes onto on the other computer. We'll drag this screen on here and just, just illustrate that for you here. Then we're also going to need to set up some hotkeys and relative mouse positioning. The hotkey is so you can actually capture the cursor on the other screen once you've uh, moved it over there. It's important so you don't move the cursor back out and, and lose the focus. And then relative mouse movement, uh, that's what I was talking about earlier. So that's Synergy. Now let's open up Splashtop and I'll show you what's going on on the desktop. So with the desktop setup, we have a server for the Splashtop system and the client for the Synergy system. And as you see here, the Synergy is acting as a client on the desktop and it's connecting to that IP address you saw before on the server, the MacBook Pro. And also, if you note, the screen name was the different screen on the desktop. It's also important. Here you see the Splashtop streamer and this is the server for the Splashtop app. And this, this page here basically details what they've done with NVIDIA, how it works with your GeForce card, and what the hardware acceleration does. It's also important to note that it doesn't work with full screen apps at this time. So in running Battlefield, you have to turn it in windowed or borderless mode. I'm just going to load it up here. Now that uh, Synergy and Splashtop are running in the background, and they've both been connected, uh, Battlefield's going to come up here, and I'll show you how it all works. 
So you can see right now, um, it appears that Windows is basically running in a window on the Macintosh computer through Splashtop. And Battlefield is so sort of running on a window on, on Windows. It's because, like I said before, Splashtop doesn't support the full screen mode. And we're going to have to you know, size that up to the full screen using the borderless mode here. But nonetheless, it's still not true full screen. And that is one of the limitations of Splashtop, but it's not really noticeable. Um, in the end. We're going to come back here and as you can see the, the mouse cursor moves around sort of outside of the battlefield window and that's because it's not capturing the cursor like it's supposed to and it's also um, not capturing the keyboard input like it's supposed to. You see I'm pressing W to walk here and nothing really is happening. That's a problem. That's why we have Synergy. Um, Synergy will basically capture the mouse cursor in the battlefield window um, using a relative mouse movement instead of the absolute mouse movement that the uh, program uses. And you see there, I just moved the cursor to the left on the screen, uh, moved it right off the screen, and I pressed the equals button we had set up before to capture the cursor. And when I do that again here, you see that I can aim properly. The cursor is now captured in the window, and I can walk around freely. So there you have it, guys. Battlefield 4 running on your very own MacBook Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe, and post your questions in the comments page below.